Hello everybody, I am back after two months of not uploading videos and for that I am sorry. I had a lot of work to do but here I am now and hopefully I will start uploading more frequently. First of all, let me just say that I am so thrilled to see that many of you liked my first YouTube video. It is really an interesting topic and there were a lot of you who commented on who do you consider to be the greatest of all time in table tennis. As you can see by today's topic, hopefully there will be more debating in the comment section. Again, I would like to mention that this is only my opinion and I would like to hear your opinion on how would you create a perfect table tennis player. So, creating the perfect table tennis player. How can we make the Frankenstein of table tennis? Well, we will look into the 8 major categories of table tennis game and the most renowned players in each category. Forehand, Backhand, Serve, Footwork, Blocking, Lobbing, mentality and athleticism. Let's start with forehand. When I say forehand, first players who come to my mind are Chinese players. When I watch their matches on YouTube, I am simply in awe with the power of their forehand spins. First of all, let's be honest. With the recent Olympic Games and another historical gold for Malong, it would be crazy not to put the dragon, the dictator, in almost all of the mentioned categories – forehand, backhand, service, etc. He is simply too good in each aspect of the game. But there are other players who are known to be lethal in some of these 8 aspects we will cover today. So, for the forehand category, I would give honorary mention to Wang Likin and Fan Zhendong, for they are both great forehand players. But when talking strictly about forehand, two of the most powerful forehand-oriented players in this new era, in my opinion, are Ma Long and Xu Xin. And I'm struggling, I'm really struggling for who should I choose for my perfect player. I will have to go with Ma Long, but this is probably the biggest dilemma I will have in this video. Now we are at the other side of the coin, the backhand side. There are a lot of candidates with different styles of backhand. You have spin-oriented players like Timo Boll, Zhang Jike, Karakashevich and Wang Hao. And then you have powerful backhand players like Ma Long, Fan Zhendong, Dimitri Ovcharov, Michael Mays, Adrian Matenet. But then... You have this beast from Greece, whose name is Kalinikos Kreanga, who is a mixture of both. Let's be honest, all of us have at least once typed in YouTube search, Kreanga, best backhand points. I tried to hit a backhand shot like Kreanga once. I almost dislocated my shoulder, so yeah. For the backhand side, my vote goes to Kalinikos Kreanga. Third aspect of the game will be the serve. Now, throughout the history, there had been many players who had great serves. A lot of players back in the day benefited from hiding their serves. Ever since 2002, rules about the serve changed. Contact with the ball when serving must be visible to your opponent. So this aspect of the game will be tricky to decide. If we look at the old school players like Waldner and Liu Guliang, they were some of the best masters of the hidden serve. But for modern rules, honorary mentions are Wang Hao, Timo Ball, Heji Wen, Pargerel, Shang Kun and Dmitry Ovcharov. Now, in my opinion, the big debate is between Malin and Werner Schlager. Malin had crazy rotation when serving, while Schlager had over 50 serves in his pocket. Werner Schlager's serving has been admired and praised by the likes of Liu Guliang. In an interview, after being asked about how he creates his serves, he responded I dream about them. Between these two, I will have to go with Schlager. He was never really known for good footwork, but he still managed to win world championship and to become a world number one with heavily relying on service and third ball attack. Next, we have footwork. Up until now, opinions will probably be divided in the comment section. But for footwork, I assume we will all choose the same guy. 
the penhold legend Ryu Sung Min. Ryu could position himself for his forehand in almost every occasion, especially earlier in his career, when he was physically prepared 100%. His 2004 Olympic Games run shows why I am choosing him. Honorary mentions are Janji Ke, Ma Long, Koji Matsushita and Jose Hyuk. Now, we arrive at the mentality aspect of the game. How can we define the mentality aspect of the game? Being clutch, or should I say being cool-headed, means to be able to make a good decision in a blink of a moment, to be able to perform well in stressful situations. When you think of clutch players, who do you think of? For me, some of the players who had the clutch mentality are Kong Linghui, Ma Long, Zhang Jike, Michael Mays, Werner Schlager, Timo Boll, Wang Li Kim. Now see, these players I mentioned all had some clutch moments in their respective careers, they had some incredible comebacks, but also they had freezing and heated moments as well, where they allowed emotions to get the best of them. Zhang's barrier kicking, Timo Boll's Olympic troubles, earlier years of Ma Long where he kept losing to Wang Hao. Even though nowadays Ma Long is incredibly mentally strong, probably the strongest on the tour. Let me just say, all of these players are some of the greatest of all time and they did have mentally strong game with ups and downs. But if I had to choose mentality for a perfect table tennis player, I would have to choose between Janove Walner and Vladimir Samsonov. Both of these legends managed to stay cool whether winning or losing at all time. Due to better career overall, I think I will have to choose Janovi Walner, even though Samsonov has a great mentality as well. So, my vote for mentality aspect of the game goes to Janovi Walner. Ah, blocking. Aspect of the game that makes you cool if you are good at it. Being able to control the game using block is really difficult and even more nowadays with the plastic balls. I have four candidates and two of them are from the mentality aspect as well. Janovi Walner and Vladimir Samsonov. The third candidate for blocking is Koki Niba. Koki is probably the pioneer of the chop block. Lots of table tennis fans agree that Koki Niba has one of the best feels for the game in the world. The fourth candidate is Oh Sangun, key player from South Korea's national team back in 2000s. Now, how should I decide on who to pick for blocking between these four players? Let's look at it this way. When you analyze their games individually, you can see that Walner, Samsonov and Koki had great blocking skills, but they didn't have to rely solely on that aspect of the game, whereas Oh Sang Goon practically gave his opponents the initiative and then, by being able to block with great precision and consistency, managed to win point after point. I would say that Oh Sang Goon used blocking the most, thus he perfected it. Therefore, my vote for blocking goes to Oh Sang Goon. Now, we arrive at the Adam Bobro aspect of the game, lobbing. Being far away from the table does not necessarily mean that you lost the point. A lot of players have great feel to lob, thus they can get back into the point. First players who come to my mind when it comes to lobbing are Vladimir Samsonov, Adrian Matenet and Malin. But in my opinion, none of them managed to pull one of the greatest comebacks in table tennis history simply by lobbing their way out of the defeat like Michael Mays did back at the World Championships in 2005 against Hao Shuai. I will talk more about table tennis comebacks another time. So, for lobbing, I am choosing Michael Mays. And last but not the least, we have physical power, athleticism. In my opinion, the most physically prepared table tennis player is, drum rolls please, Wang Li Kin. He is 185 centimeters tall and when you combine that height with crazy amount of hours spent in the gym, you get this physical phenomenon called Wang Li Kin. I guess that players across the table used to get a little demotivated when playing him simply because of his physical attributes. I would love to ask someone who played him, was it a little bit frightening or not? So there you have it table tennis fans, this was my attempt to create a perfect table tennis player. Forehand, Malong, Backhand, Kreanga, Serve, Werner Schlager, Footwork, Ryu Sung Min, Mentality, Janove Walner, Blocking, Oh Sangun.
lobbing, Michael Mays, and athleticism, Wang Likin. I would like to hear your combination of players for a perfect player in the comment section. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and to subscribe. I will try to upload more frequently, at least once every few weeks. I feel really motivated now that I know that you like these types of videos. Thank you all and see you soon.